Tinnavali halwa has a soft and smooth jelly like texture which will not stick to your hand and it will melt in your mouth. Let's make a chapati dough with 1 cup of wheat flour here. And then let's add 2 cups of water. And it should sit for 4 hours. Let's not disturb it. After 4 hours, we need to extract the milk from this. We need to filter it into a vessel. We have a clear milk here and let this rest for at least 3 hours. And after 3 hours you can see the sedimentation have happened here after 3 hours. You can see the clear water layer and the milk at the bottom. Now drain the cleared water and let's start with the milk. Add around 2 tablespoons of ghee and some cashews and fry till it turns golden and now time to add the milk in make sure you just keep stirring without any interval or else it becomes so lumpy you can see here it just starts lumping up very quickly so you have to vigorously keep stirring it at this stage we are going to add sugar to it so that the stirring process will be easier it will just loosen up Time for caramelized sugar. This is the one which is going to give color to the Trinalveli halwa. So here it is. And make sure you don't burn this. So here we are. After few hours of stirring, we are at our final stage. You can see the consistency. It has it has got a beautiful consistency. Now let's add our cashew nuts. Our halwa is ready. It's always a good time to have a sweet. So try this through really halwa. Thank you.